Greetings, beautiful shining stars. I am Goddess Allison. I am a life improvement coach specializing in soulmate matchmaking and abundance development. This is your abundance toolkit, and this video will make you more wealthy. First, we're going to start with you, because I know you are out there right now. You may be feeling stuck in your issues with money. You're stressed out by all your bills. Gotta pay that rent. There are things you want, but you don't buy them because they are too expensive. Maybe you even want to eat organic food, but you don't buy it because you feel you don't have the money. You work too hard for your money, and you feel worn out, but a vacation is too expensive. You may even feel that you don't even have enough money to pay for my coaching, so you can be more wealthy. In this short video, I'm going to help you experience more out of life in your relationship with money. I'm going to help you become more wealthy. I have some tips to get you started. Tip number one. Wealth is not just a state of being. It's a feeling. It's a mindset. It begins from in here. Learning to be wealthy from a place of lack, poverty, and scarcity mindset can be like learning to walk again. You can't expect to become wealthy overnight. And, in fact, if you do become wealthy overnight, your mindset may very well pull you right back to where you started. Tip number two. Treat money like it is love. The expression and vibration of love. When money is a beautiful divine expression of love, there's a whole lot less to be stressed about. When you love money more, it loves you back. Tip number three. If your relationship to money were like a relationship to another person, how would you be treating them right now? Are you telling them that they are not enough? Do you blame them for your problems? Would you be ignoring them? Would you be afraid to look at them? Would you be thinking that if you have more of them, then that leaves less for everyone else? Are you telling them they're not doing a good enough job? Would you be thinking, I can't have that? Treat your relationship with money like you would treat your relationship with another person. Perhaps a small child that deserves to be cared for and loved. Or maybe your hottest soulmate lover. Tip number four. What are your beliefs surrounding money? Some people believe that rich people must have taken, swindled, taken advantage of, or stolen from someone somewhere. Some believe that not everyone can be wealthy. Some people believe that money is somehow bad or evil. This comes from a place of lack, constriction, scarcity, and poverty before it does of love, abundance, and harmony. There is enough wealth and abundance for everyone. There is enough love to go around. Tip number five. What are your feelings surrounding money? Do you worry about money a lot? What about when you shop? How is your attitude about spending? Do you get a strangling, constricting feeling when you make big purchases? When you go to buy something, do you pick it just because it's cheaper? Is your attitude about money the more you spend, the less you have? Your beliefs and feelings about money and wealth will directly influence your ability to attain money and wealth. Tip number six. Money has to do with survival skills. If your survival skills aren't being met and taken care of, you are spending a lot of energy worrying about those instead of doing whatever it is that you are divinely meant to do in your life for your highest and best life purpose. What would you do with your life if money was no obstacle? What would you do for the world? I hope the answer is not, I'd buy a bunch of stuff and sit on the couch like a lazy couch potato. Of course you'd want to be doing something with your life every day. Money is a sacred tool, a tool that magnifies your vibration into the world and leads to a life of comfort and ease. The more you spend, 
the more you create. See what happens to your money mindset when you start thinking about it this way. When I spend, I receive more in abundance, comfort, and wealth when I spend. When you pay someone, you are blessing them with your love, your essence, and your time. When I spend the beautiful divine money that I have, it makes life better for everyone. Whatever you'd be doing with your life if money were no obstacle is probably what you should actually be doing. Tip number seven. Being grateful for the wealth and abundance you do have is very important. How are you grateful for what you do have? Awesome vehicles to get you from place to place. I like this one, it's electric. For what money buys you? Money buys cute, happy animals. How have you used money today? Money buys food. Next time you eat, thank yourself for getting paid. Tip number eight. You might be surprised to know that what you are wearing affects how you feel, which can affect how you feel about your own wealth and abundance. Are you wearing clothes that make you feel great, that people compliment you in? Are you wearing clothes that make you feel wealthy and abundant? Tip number nine, declutter. The less you have in stuff dragging you down, the more you have in time and energy to focus on being abundant and wealthy. Tip number 10, create the way nature creates. Nature doesn't struggle to blossom and grow. It creates a bountiful harvest. Abundance is your natural birthright. When you learn to create wealth and abundance, like nature creates wealth and abundance, you will be more wealthy beyond your wildest dreams. Mmm, mint, wealthy. What are some things that you can start doing right now to help you feel more wealthy? You might not have thought about it before, but what are some ways that you can be more wealthy within the next three days? What are some action steps that you can take to plant the seeds of wealth for your future? Becoming more wealthy can be like planting a garden. It may take some preparation at first, some work, but you've got to get out there and prepare the soil. Plant those seeds. Do it just right at the right time and you can have a large proliferous harvest. Just like the seasons of nature, wealth can come in cycles. What are the cycles of your wealth doing? What are they like? Sometimes there's a dormant period like winter when not much is coming in. But you've got to fall back into spring, summer and fall. Harvest all that you have done with your wealth and created, all the beautiful things. And finally, tip number 11. Pretend it till you make it. Some people say fake it till you make it, but you can't fake it here. You've got to pretend that you believe that more money is on its way just around the corner, even if that's different than your current reality that you observe and experience each day. Next time you're dealing with money, challenge yourself to feel more loving, joyful, and celebratory about your money. Now, take these tips and implement them into your life. You will start experiencing more with the money than you knew was possible. When you change the way that you think, feel, act, speak, and believe towards money to be in greater alignment with divine wealth and abundance, you will make quantum leaps and shifts in your reality into experiencing more wealth in a very short amount of time. I know some of you are out there right now and you're thinking, wow, well this sounds easier said than done. I am Goddess Allison and I can help you. I help you alter your reality to experience more money. 
If you would like to have a personal guide along your journey into becoming more wealthy and abundant, and you decide that you are ready to invest your loving money in creating more wealth for yourself, please book a free intro session with me at my website, www.goddessallison.com. Thank you so much for watching, and have a blessed wealthy day!